Hello friends, welcome back to another episode here on the channel. I hope you're all doing great and for anyone new to the channel, my name is Lee, also known as Osiris. In today's episode, we're continuing on with our VGC Series 10 content and following our trend of kind of a little bit more underused meta pick Pokemon and uh, restricteds. And today we're focusing down on Lunala. As always, there'll be a Poker Piss down in the description below and at the end of the episode, if you stick around, I'll throw the rental code up at the end. So here we go, we got Lunala, we got Rapid Striker, Shifu, we got Stack Attacker, Incineroar, Serena, and Amoongus. So we got Double Grass in this team, we got Redirection as well, which is pretty important for the majority of the team to help it kind of function uh, as best as possible. Serena gives us a little bit more power uh, to say on the, the Grass stab front, uh, also with the ability to kind of get around any redirection, uh, any priority attacks with Queenly Majesty ability, um, and got a flurry of good spread attacks to deal with a bunch of threats in this format. Incineroar makes sense, it's a nice switch in for Lunala with its dark fire typing uh, and Intimidate there as well to help out a bunch, and then the Trick Room kind of centric mods of the team are going to be the Stack Attacker and the Lunala, both carrying Trick Room. Um, obviously we've got Meteor Beam on the Lunala, it gives you that attack boost as well well uh in the one turn and then we can go moon guys being just to town after that and the ocean feel like i said at the start kind of gives us a nice way to deal with opposing threats it could be a bit threatening to stack attack things like landris and Carnet and things like that so hope you enjoyed today's episode as always we'll have a few games of the team now and then we'll throw the rental up at the end let me know if you have been playing lunala in the format or if you've just tried it out or what your thoughts are on it down below in the comment section as always do love to hear and without further ado friends we'll get into game one of today's episode Okay, first up today we have a Tapu Fini Incineroar, Tokol, Amoongus, Oranguru, and Ice Rider Calyrex. So, interesting team. And all honesty, uh, Lunala does pretty well against this team. We've got to watch out, of course, for the opposing Trick Room because it is just a heavy Trick Room based team from my opponent. Uh, the Amoongus is going to cause us all sorts of issues. Um, especially if the Trick Room does go up, which we can't really deny. I mean, we can reverse it if we want to. Um, we need Incineroar massively in this match because it's going to be a big help out against the opposing Calyrex. It is the kind of centerpiece of my opponent's team. Got to watch out for Instruct as well from the Oranguru. Uh, and Oranguru, obviously, with the Psychic and Normal Typing, going to be immune to the Ghost-type attacks from Lunala. But Stack Attacker generally does really well if the Trick Room does go up, so we don't need to worry about that too much from my opponent's side of the field. I think... All things considered, I think we'll leave Lunala and I think Incineroar with Stacker. And then what do we want as our kind of last pick? Do we want Serena? It helps out against the the Tapu Fini a bunch. Doesn't do too well against the rest of the team though. Uh, same can be said for Amoongus. Uh, I think Urshifu probably fits the bill a little bit better. Although we are going to struggle a little bit against the Tapu Fini, which makes it... Uh, a little bit awkward, so maybe Serena, maybe Serena, even though there's a lot of, there's a lot of fire threats, there's a lot of fire threats and ice threats as well, but we have to just be careful with it. I just feel like the Tapu Fini is probably going to be a little bit more tricky to deal with than like a lot of the other Pokemon. So, let's see what we can do against this build. Always like seeing a nice Rider Calyrex team. Um, it's an interest in Restricted. I think it struggles a little bit in this format, in all honesty. You have to go pretty hard trick room with it. But we are going to see the Moongus and the Oranguru come out from my opponent. Uh, what do we do here? We are going to see the trick room, potentially. Uh, we can fake out into the Moongus if we want. You can't really fake out the Oranguru, it's going to have inner focus. Um, we could Trick Room on the Trick Room because I think it's the best play for my opponent. We just get kind of bitten a little bit if they do. No, I think what we'll do, we'll Trick Room here and we'll go for a fake out into the Amoongus. Yeah, stop the spall. So yeah, and I think Oranguru will Trick Room here. It makes a lot of Oh my god, the no Trick Room. We're caught out, we're caught out, we're caught out, we're caught out. We're setting the Trick Room up for them. <laughs> but we're setting it up for stack attacker as well, okay? And now they can only attack now, now, now it gets very tricky. Okay, we'll bring Serena in. And we will go for a Flare Blitz into Amoongus. Hopefully, they don't spawn Incineroar, which I'm guessing they will. I think they'll go Foul Play into Lunala and they will spawn into Incineroar here. That would be my best bet. 
But the thing is, they've got no pressure to really knock out Incineral. Yeah, it makes sense to do that. And then Foul Play is going to come out and do an absolute chunk of damage to Serena. At least with Serena, we are immune to the spores from Amoongus. And the Foul Play not doing too much damage. And we do have the uh, Triple Axle that we can go into the Amoongus with this turn. Um, and we just have to try and stall out. I mean, we, what we could potentially do is switch Incineroar out. So we've got Active Fake out and get Stack Attacker onto the field. And then we've got a, a really good way to attack my opponent going forward, especially if this is the Calyrex. It's a Torkoal. Even if it's Torkoal, to be honest, like the Rock Slide is going to be doing big, big damage. We just need to be able to get rid of the Amoongus here. That would be a big, big help for us. Oh, I can't believe we set the trick room up for my opponent. What are we doing? Okay, sporting into the Serena slot. Not realize it's a grass type. A majesty. Okay, that does some, some tasty damage. Now, I think what we'll do is we'll switch Serena out. Save it for later. Bring Incineroar back in. We'll try and burn some of those turns. We'll go for a rock slide. That should get rid of the Amoongus, and it should do some nice, sizable damage to this uh, Torkoal. The problem is, if it's got Body Press or Earth Power, it's going to be able to really disrupt what we're trying to do here. But the sun is up, so Incineroar, as soon as it does wake up, we're going to be in a good spot. We do have wide guard though, so we can we can slow the game down a little bit if we get the beast boost, which is helpful. Um, but we are going to go down to another another option. I think we'll probably see instruct eruption. I think around it comes back in here. Yeah. Okay. Well. We try and wake up. I guess that's what we can do. We could get how many turns of trick room are left? One. That's perfect. So what we'll do is we'll switch up, bring Lunala in, and we will go for a wide. Oh, we don't have wide guard, do we? Mm. We have to, I think. Oh, this is awkward. Try and parting shot out. Uh Snarl. I think Snarl's the best play. Um What's that? Is that Iron Ball Talk Call though? That's the thing. Or is our stack attacker just not as slow as stack attacker should be? They're earth powering and they're gonna instruct which will go straight into the protect again. Because they're trying to they get get that get that and then go for the incineral. Um okay. We need to wake up though, that's the thing. Like now they're gonna instruct again the earth power. And then go for Earth Power again. Um, so we snarl. I think we keep Stacker around. Let's bring in Lunala. Because then we've got a way to deal with the Torkoal pretty easily. We do have to contend with foul play. But. Okay. That's fine. We're going to see the Oranguru go for. Just another. that. Oh well, no, I think, what do they do? The Trick Room on the last turn of Trick Room. Hmm. Oh no, it's just set up again. Okay. That's not ideal. Um, okay. So I think we Snarl, and I think... Yeah, we. I mean, we can Wide Guard here. We could Trick Room as well. Um, or we could Dump. We could Dump Stacker. Hmm. No, I think what we'll do is we'll snarl and we'll trick room. We could wide guard. I think we trick room now because I think we'll take. I think they're they're more likely to go foul play here. Yeah, they thought uh, uh, we should take that pretty well. We need to wake up though. That's the thing. So we got a berry proct. I don't think a foul play will take us down. 
Just from the, in the initial damage. Oh, they, they instruct. Okay, that's perfect. So we can reverse the trick room here. And if Incineroar wakes up, that's perfect because we should take another Earth Power. Yeah, that's ideal. And then we can double into the Orangery this next turn and just go Meteor Beam and Flare Blitz. And that will do the job for us. Okay, so Incineroar waking up in a timely fashion. Not really. <sighs> right, we should be able to get rid of the Incineroar here. So that's fine. The sun going away as well is useful. And hopefully the tall call protects here, thinking that it's super threatened. Um, we need to meet to be this Orangaroo and hope that this combination is enough to take it down. The Orangaroo is a bulky monkey or gorilla, whatever it is. Yeah, there's a protect. That's perfect. Now this could set us up to, to just win the game. Now, Meteor Beam. We should get the power herb. So hopefully this doesn't enough. Right, there's a charge plus special attack. Oh, come on, Flare Blitz. We kind of need the sun, but I'm confident we should get it from here, right? We should. Yeah. We'll go down to recoil item mark. Mm, maybe, maybe. I think we probably will, but <sighs> just hanging on, just hanging on by a thread. Okay, that's perfect because now uh, we can get rid of the Torkoal and then the Calyrex comes in. We, we can just nuke that with a Moon Guys Beam. There's no way it survives it as one. Because Lunala not in any shape or form threatened by the. Uh... Yeah, I think we're just. Flare Blitz. Go. Moongas Beam. I don't think the Flare Blitz gets the Tall Call, but this will 100% get the Calyrex. Wow, it's been such a long time since I saw this animation. Very cool animation. Um, but with the plus one, the Calyrex doesn't stand a chance, unfortunately. Um, let's see. Can Incineroar pick up the final knockout? I don't think so. I think the Tall Call is defensive too strong yeah but we've got plenty in the back and Sinor done a good job of the other part yeah minus one just Lunala is just a tank just a tank an absolute tank yeah I'm gonna try, have to have a look at the stack attacker see what its speed is because if that is iron ball talk all that would make sense makes it a lot better against something like stack attacker of course um, but we definitely got caught out. Let's have a quick look to see. I'm pretty sure we are minimum speed. 18. I have to check. I'm sure it's 13 speed stat, so we might not be minimum. Um, let's power it. Moongeist. Beam, and that will do it. Let's see. Let's see, stacker, I'm sure. Raw speed stat should be. 13, but 13 might be just no, 18 is yeah, it's 16, but we should still be slower than Torkoal with 18, so it definitely is Iron Ball. Um, why we are 18 and not anything else that would mean that we're either four IVs or adamant nature, so I will double check that anyway. Good game to our opponent, we'll jump straight into game two now, friends. Up next, we have a Pikachu Tornadus. Serena, Kyogre, Alolan Executor, and Stack Attacker. Crazy looking team. Looks a lot of fun to play against. Let's see how we can get on against it. What are we looking at? Got Lightning Rod support for the Kyogre and the Tornadus with the Pikachu. Fake Out support there as well. Um, then you got Trick Room mods, which are going to be from the Executor and the Stack Attacker. Potentially supporting the Kyogre if it's a little slower, potentially, but more so going to be the Executor and the Stack Attacker going to be the Trick Room mod there. Uh, Tornado is going to be there to kind of help shut things down or just put the uh, Tailwind on the field for the Kyogre. That makes sense. Um, okay, well, I think... Well, Ishifi doesn't do too bad. You've got to be careful around the Alola and Executor. I think Lunala is pretty good here, to be honest. Um, could go Lunala. Stacker. We could... Uh, I mean, Lunala Serena is not bad as well. Because uh, we could then just go for Trick Room straight away. Um, we should take an attack from... It's just... Yeah, I mean, that's fine, right? That's fine. I think Urshifu makes a lot of sense in this match. And 
potentially a Moongus as well, because we can put things to sleep. Uh, clear Smog's quite nice against a bunch of stuff, and it gives us an additional um, switch into Kyogre and Water Spots if they are a bit problematic, and um, gives us a little bit of a lifeline under Trick Room if it does go up in effect. But we kind of... I guess, I don't know, do we need the Trick Room going up? And in the previous match, just to make sure, uh, it was 100% definitely an Iron Ball Topo. Uh, Topo minimum speed stat roll uh, with quite no IVs is uh, 22, so we would have undersped it anyway. So it was definitely Iron Ball. Um, and our stack attack, I guess, just has a, a few more IVs. Giving us the benefit of uh, being out of Trick Room against opposing stackers, I guess, in a way. So. Yeah, definitely Iron Ball. Anyway, we've got Kyogre, we've got Tornadoes coming out from my opponent. We could set the Trick Room up, we could Wide Guard, I don't know, we'll see. Mm. Yeah, we can Trick Room. I think Trick Room would make sense here, but then do we want to set the Trick Room up? We could just Meteor Beam into Tornadoes and just go for a big old Power Whip into the Kyogre and not set anything up here. Because I think they're likely to go... They could double up into Serena, but if they do that... Yeah, it gives us the, the kind of the free hit into Tornadoes. Yeah, we'll go for that. Icy Wind. Okay, that's still alright. Like, don't mind that really one little bit. Because we're going to get the Kyogre. Like, what's Kyogre going to do? Uh, go for Water Spout. It's not really going to do the damage it needs to to either. No, I mean, it does a, a fair old fat chunk to Lunala, but at the same time, we should be able to get rid of this Tornadus. Should be, you know? Depends if it's sashed or not. Probably is. But the Power Whip will get the Kyogre, 100%. Unless it's like super bulky with a Ringo. Uh, it is sashed, so that definitely helps it out. Uh, we've got to watch out for Hurricane as well the next turn, of course. Uh, power Whip coming out into the ogre will be enough to get rid of that restricted so that makes things a little bit easier for us i think we're gonna have to switch out who know all of this next turn i mean we don't necessarily need to uh but both both lunala and serena are kind of susceptible to get going down now to a hurricane potentially especially with serena coming in from my opponent uh we've not really got the switches to uh hmm to switch in against the hurricane. We could potentially try and go for a trick room here. Uh, huh. And a triple axle against the opposing. Hopefully we see something like Tailwind would be ideal here. Tailwind. But yeah, no, just a hurricane coming out. Okay. Can we take an attack from the Serena? If it's got payback, then no. Grassy Glide, we should take this. Yeah. Oh, one HP. We love to see it. Love to see it. <laughs> okay, well, we take that. That's pretty nice for us. Um, and I guess. To get in. Get Urshifu in. I think the thing is, the Serena. Does the Serena going to add speed Lunala? Probably, more than likely. Um, definitely outspeeds Urshifu. Let's get a move this onto the field. Depends how fast the Serena is as well. Actually, we've been icy wind, so we should under speed the Serena. Yeah. So we'll go Moon Guys Beam into Serena, and then we'll go for a clear smog into the Tornadus. So the icy wind actually really helping us out a bunch here. So that means that we definitely are under, going to underspeed the Serena and get the Moon Guys Beam off. Uh, the Clear Smog will be able to get the Tornadus. So we don't need to worry about um, Hurricanes. Although it's going to switch out. We're going to see... Is it going to be? Lol and Executor. Love to see it. There we go. It's going to be about whether or not we can knock out the Serena now and plus one. Be nice if we could. But I mean, Moon is doing a nice job here. Um... Just depends if it's assault vest, which it likely is, so we won't be able to pick up the knockout, I don't think, against assault vest, Serena. But if it's not, yeah. 
makes it way more difficult. Grass Glide gonna be enough to finish this off. And now we've got Urshifu, which against two grass types, not ideal. Um, Do we protect or do we go for Searching Strikes? I think how many turns of Trick Room have we got? I mean my opponent's going to struggle to deal with. Okay, got three turns of Trick Room. So let's protect here. Let's go Clear Smog again into Serena because once we remove the Serena, then we can utilize our kind of priority attacks, which helps us out a bit. Um, hindsight, Urshifu not the greatest pick, but I, yeah, I mean other options that we got weren't fantastic either. Is this going to be enough? Nowhere near enough. Double up next turn would be though. Grass Knot and are they doubling into Urshifu? Endeavor. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. But the Rocky Helmet going to be enough now. So that's that's ideal because now we can take down the Serena this next turn. Um, Dragon Grass. So yeah, let's close combat. Uh, I don't know if we're going to be able to take a grass. And we should be able to take a grass knot, right? We should take a grass knot. We should take a grass knot. Like, grass knot, we're not like super heavy with Urshifu or anything. So. I'm hoping that we can get a close combat off. Because if we can, that, that makes it way, way, way easier. Are we going to be able to? Jesus, no. Oh my god, we're getting beat off a big eggplant and told you this. The rain stops. I don't know if we can do this now, to be honest. Tornado's coming in. Uh, we can take that down, but then... Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Um, We have to. I mean, what do we do? Do we rip, like, Canamungus? Yeah, we go for the clear smog into Tornadus and then hope that we can, with 36 HP, that the Executor cannot damage us enough. If it's only attack and move is Grass Knot, then we're fine. I've got a feeling it's probably going to have a Dragon type attack as well. Makes it a little bit more awkward. Of course, it's going to. How does that thing even learn Flamethrower? Oh my god. What is this? What is this? Good game to my opponent. A little bit sad that we couldn't get the win there, to be honest. Um, but I mean, losing to an executor, there is uh, there is little shame in that. Flamethrower. How does it get flamethrower? Okay, well, uh, we got we got caught out at the start there, setting the trick room up, and uh, when we necessarily didn't. Uh, no, that wasn't that game. There was the other one it worked out in, not that one. So very good game to my opponent. We'll jump over now, friends, and get the rental card for today's team. Right, friends, here is today's Lunala team that we featured, and I hope if you do try it out, you have a lot of fun with it. And if you do, as always, let me know down in the comment section below. Uh, what your thoughts are on the team. I think that last match, uh, yeah, Urshifu wasn't the best pick at all. Uh, it would have been better to bring something like Incineroar there because then it gives us a little bit more stability uh, in that kind of end game scenario where we were kind of against the two uh, grass types that were a bit more threatening to us in that situation. So uh, you live and learn and uh, we'll go forward from there. But like I say, if you do try the team out, I hope you have a lot of fun with it yourself. And Lunala, definitely a good restricted Pokemon and it's really important once it starts Get and gets going in matches so um yeah have fun with the team have a great rest of your day we'll wrap things up there and i'll see you again for another episode very soon so until then friends take care and bye bye